Welcome to Fight Ops. <clears throat> this is our plant voltage recorder part two. And part one, uh, we saw the components of the plant voltage recorder, which is basically three different I components plus a battery. The STM32F1 microcontroller, the micro SD card module, for writing out all the data to a micro SD card and the magic component or amplifier which connects to the microcontroller on one end and on the other end it connects to the tree actually let me draw a little tree here um, you might think, okay, well, the STM32 has an analog digital converter, uh, which means you can put analog signals directly onto the pins here, have them converted to digital and then written to microSD or whatever you like to do with that data. So you could, you might think that it is okay to connect the three electrodes, E1 and E2, directly to these input pins here without using an amplifier. Actually, uh, smarty me, that's what I first tried when I wanted to measure uh, plant voltages. I thought, well, you know, I have no clue, so let's try it. Maybe it works. Obviously, it didn't work. Um, just mentioning this because we will later see that the amplifier is kind of a bit of a tricky component in all of this. And it's really necessary. You can't take any shortcuts. You need this component. Otherwise, the whole setup won't work. Anyway. Um, so our three components plus a battery. Um, and what I wanted to show you is actually what they look like in real life. And in real life, number one, our microcontroller could look like this. This is an STM32F1 clone. Uh, blue pill, as I mentioned in part one, you can get this very cheaply, uh, between two and three euros or dollars. Second component was the micro SD read write module. Looks like this, about a dollar. Um, you insert the micro SD card here, and we all know these cards from our phones. And then you're in business. Um, the third component, or amplifier, and don't be scared now, is this. This is my homebrew version uh, of the amplifier. I might at one point share a schematic for this as well. All the everything we need to know right now is that here are the two inputs, E1, E2, for the electrodes from the tree. You go in, amplifier does its magic, does the amplification, and these are the outputs. So now we just have to connect this part of the tree and the outputs to the microcontroller and the micro SD card to the microcontroller. A variety of options we have for that. Before we come to that, the last important component is obviously the battery that powers everything. Here, um, I've mentioned that I was using, or am using, um, a single battery that delivers a voltage between 3.8 and 4.2 volts. 
and I pipe that in directly to the microcontroller's regulator, which is, I believe, no, it's not on the top side, it's on the bottom side, but it's around here somewhere. And uh, that provides the power to the microcontroller, the micro SD card, and the amplifier. So the first option we have for power is this. Uh, this thing is called eighteen six fifty. You know this this is for example used in power tools and many other uh, home appliances that uh, operate on battery charges. It's also used in laptop batteries. So what you can do is use a single of this uh, or several in parallel and that works nicely. If you don't have this one or you don't even have any old laptops batteries that you can repurpose for this you couldn't could alternatively, alternatively use three AA batteries, but because of the voltage, you have to put them in serial. Each one is 1.5 volts, that gives 1.5, 3 volts, 4.5 volts. That is almost exactly what we will get with 18650, just a little bit more. So those are the power options. Put it like that. All right. Um, that's it for this short video. Thanks for watching.